we are now going to make a revision change to the part. This edge of the formed leg needs to move to the right a quarter inch. The dimple also needs to move an eighth inch to the right so that it remains centered on that leg. To do any change in the part of the strip, you need to follow a specific procedure so that these changes will update throughout the strip and into the tool in the best way possible. First, we will open up the strip assembly. Just need to click on it in the feature manager tree and hit open assembly. And the changes need to be done in the reference part. That's the part that the station marks are in and I can open it also from the feature manager tree. It is called dimple tab. Since this is a change to the finished part, I am going to roll the history bar up above the 010 station mark but still below the imported feature. If there were features in the tree that we could change dimensions, dimension values, to make this tab wider and to move that dimple, we, we would do that. But since this is just an imported solid, because this was opened from a Parasolid file, we will need to use a SolidWorks function called Move Face. You can find that in your Mold Tools tab of your Command Manager. I'll select move face and the faces I want to move it's going to be the side face and then this fillet and this fillet. We have three different options. I'm going to use the one called translate. Down here under parameters I'm going to put focus in this box and select the edge that I would like these faces to move along. So I will select this face, or edge, and then I tell it how much do I want to move. So I'll say a quarter inch, because that's how much it needs to move. I can switch to re or reverse the direction of that move with this icon, if necessary. We get a preview, and it is moving the correct direction, so I'll select OK. So now this leg is a quarter inch wider than it was before. Now I'm going to move this dimple. I will again use the move face function. And to make the selections, I could select the faces on both sides just by clicking on them. But I'm going to use a SolidWorks trick by changing the display style, the hidden line is visible. And then I'll make a selection box, drag a selection box around the dimple. And now you can see I have the four faces on both sides. Again, I'll put focus in the this box right here, which is a direction reference. I'll select this edge and I'm going to tell it I want to move only an eighth inch half of what we moved the edge of the leg and select OK. So now I've made the leg wider and I moved the dimple and I will roll the history bar down to the end of the tree. I can now save the reference part. I will then tab over to the strip assembly. And if I zoom in, you can see, and if I measure this, 
you see is still only an inch wide. I made it a quarter inch wider, so it should be an inch and a quarter. This is because I have to, while in the strip assembly or while in the annex part, that's the part that has the four strip in the name, but I'll do this while in the strip assembly, I have to select this icon, update the stations of the annex part used in the strip. Without doing this, those changes will not update into the annex part. So I'll select this icon. It's always going to ask if you want to rebuild the reference part. I'm going to select yes. And now you can see that that change has updated into the annex part, which is the part that is shown in the strip. You can also see that the position of that dimple punch and eye have also updated the positions to match the, where the dimple is, the new location. And our cutting punch has also updated. And this is because we use the move face function because we moved the existing faces. If we were to have used a SOLIDWORKS cut feature, cut extrude feature, or a uh, SOLIDWORKS extrude feature, we would have been creating new geometry and the cutting punch would not have followed that because as new geometry, it would not have recognized. If I were to tab over to the tool assembly, you can see that the die opening has updated to the new punch shape. Also the opening in the stripper plate and the mounted punch has also updated. This location of this screw is just a, it's just the, that the, the tool assembly has not rebuilt properly so far. If I were to do a control Q forced rebuild, you'll see that the location of that screw has now updated to the new location. Also, you can see that the punch for that dimple has also updated to the new location. And so that is how you make a change or vision change to the part in the strip.